So I, I was thinking about, um, so before that, my name is Rafi. Uh, a big introduction for myself, uh, I used to study in the UK for three years, and then <coughs> that is when I, I started to delve, delve into WordPress. So I used to be a mechanical engineer student, a qualified one, but then I skipped that road and then jumped into like development and design. And then I'm a relationship manager of uh, this one, um, my part is in Australia, uh, mostly we do WordPress stuff. Um, try to push um, WordPress in the different directions. And then I'm a special manager of Fluent Space. Let's come on. Come on, see. So today I'm going to talk about a few things, um, if, I, if I have the time. Uh, but if you, have, if you are interested, you can just um, get my contact details. I'll leave my business card here. Uh, first one, mostly the custom post type. It's, most of you might already know this. Um, this is just from all about int introduction to all of you guys. So whoever that, that didn't know um, WordPress, like get up to date with it. So this is where um, I'll try to uh, bring updates for, for you. Uh, how custom query works, uh, what custom template, so that you can create different type of templates, how, you, how you're going to do that, um, how you're going to get the widgets area, um, and probably I'm going to talk about a bit of gravity forms, uh, what cool things that you're going to talk about it. Uh, they didn't pay me to talk about that. But I think, I think it's cool because you're gonna, people just know that it's like Wufu. People just know it's like Wufu, but you can, you can do lots of things with it. Um, I just had some fun with it. So, and Canvas framework, I'm not a, I used to be a data tester for WooTeams, <coughs> but I skipped that road as well. So I just kept, Canvas is very, very, it's very flexible for people who want to do design or you just want, you don't know, you just want to build websites. Um, and then you can use, and then probably I just, just switch back and forth on WordPress networks or you can call it WordPress, uh, multiple users. So uh, I'm probably gonna start with the dashboard right away. Uh, Um, WordPress um, dashboard. It's, uh, it's, it's this is what we have. Um, this is for my. This is for the what, what I normally use. What we what we have installed here is the WordPress uh, multiple user, which allows you to able um, be able to create multiple sites. Um, for you to do so, what you need to do is actually. So these are the list of sites that you're gonna create. For example, if you wanna create one, a new one. <coughs> So you're gonna go to the end and never get me. And then it's as easy as create a new site. So I'm gonna type in webcam. Excuse me. Can you make the site address scheme using the slash? Using the sub directory method instead of the sub directory method. Um, I'll probably answer that afterwards. Mm. Yeah, let's save the QA for later. Let's <coughs> be here all night. <laughs> so, this is the manual way for WordPress. Um, how are you going to create that one? And then it's going to be live right away. Whoops. So, let's play this it. So there's another way to do that is actually using a WP replicator which you can actually replicate in any size that you have. So basically this is just the dashboard um, I'm going to uh, tell you guys. And then, uh, then I'm going to go right away to the custom post type for that one. Uh, custom post type is actually it's like 
most of you might already know that WordPress has the like post and pages. So that's that what separates WordPress. So custom post is actually uh, anything that you might think about in a, in a different things. For example, you want to create a site which have a database of movies. So it doesn't make sense to create, to use a page for each of those movies. Or it doesn't make any sense <coughs> to use, a, for example, you can use, you still can use posts. And then you put up category for that one. For example, you create a post, then you use that as a category, and then you can pull, pull that data. But I would prefer if you have, for example, you, you put up the movies on the side, and then you can create uh, like a, what do you call a movie? So for example, let's go to the dashboard right away. Not bad, you are doing the reverse mousing. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll use food things, by the way. So this is the other it's, it's actually a restaurant um, uh, themes that has like a food menu where what you can what you can do is actually if you if you are a restaurant owner you can add a new menu which has all the details you can add the menu mm. then you can put up whether it's a dessert or so main or starters and um, like you can put up image thumbnail and all that sort of price so this is one one way for you to be able to sh to show to your for example the bo your boss or the user, so that this is a uh, things that which is much more manageable for you to use, and it's much more user inter um, interactive in the sense that they can understand where they should put the menu. Mm -hmm. Or, for example, there's another, uh, for example, uh, reservations forms. For example, mm -hmm. also all this. <coughs> so I, I believe you got the idea. And then, so if you don't, if you know nothing, if you if you if you ever use WordPress. But you know nothing uh, about custom posts, but you can you can start doing so. You just download this um, uh, the, this plugin. You can Google it, custom post type UI. So what it does actually, you can you can create anything. You, you can just have fun with it. You go there, type movies, for example, and what's the level name? What the, it has. Uh, you want to show the UI. Meaning on the left hand side, you're gonna have uh, custom post type for that one. Whether it's a post or the page, whether it's gonna have a hierarchy or not. Uh, all these things are are changeable as as you develop the website. For example, if I want to add up a movie, then suddenly I forgot to put up whether it's a horror movie type of movie category. Either it's a horror movie, it's a it's a science fiction, or it's a it's an action movie. So you can do so by by adding like few other things, which is which is not visible here, somewhere down there. So once you are finished, you just copy that one simple code that they have down there and posting on the uh, function of PHP. So, yeah. so this is the custom query. Um, most most people like I think there, there's a few diff, um, few questions few questions being posted in webcam uh, forum. So I like, normally I go there and control F and then search for anything if, if anyone ever asks about WordPress. And most of the things that they ask is about custom query custom query. Which means um, you have lots of things. Like just now, I'll show you. You have a menu. You have posts. You have categories for that. And you want a custom query, meaning that you want to filter it based on the category, or authors, or post type. So what you're going to do that? Um, the way to do that is that's the sample of the query. What you're going to do that is select anything you want in the middle of that. So if you want to create one page, that one page is actually an author page. An author page. But what I mean by that is actually a page with, with all of my content, with all of my posts, with all of my blog posts. So I just put in author my ID, ID1. Or, so that's as simple as that. So, yeah. And you can actually read more about uh, query type um, on the WordPress codex side. On, and on, on the page template is actually, for example, you created like few on the website. You have a contact us page, bot us page. Um, maybe you have a team page. So for each of those, if you want to have like really customized um, layout for that, what you can do is actually create a custom template. And the way to do that is actually adding up a few lines of code over there on top. You just put in template name, for example, team mm -hmm. page. And then down there, you just put your HTML index, uh, HTML, HTML 
uh, the PHP codes over there. All what you can do is actually, I'm going to show you some examples right away afterwards. Um, this is this is pretty pretty good in in giving like, for example, there's been like few uh, ways. For example, the clients come to you and what they want to ask is about how do I change this text? So you don't want to give them an access so that they can change the PHP code. They might break it down. So the way to do that is actually using a widget area. So widget area is actually a page. Let me skip down. Okay, this for example, this is the footer part of it which I call, you, ha you have a layout and you have a different footer sections, one, two, three, and four. And you wanna have like, uh, this is, on this side, it's gonna have a list of pages, or this side, or maybe like a custom text announcement, and you wanna be able for them to actually change that. So you add the, the widget area. So the way to do that, this is a sample. Um, you register the sidebar. It's going, it's going to be for, this is just a sample for uh, Canvas routines. But if it's going to be normal one, you just go to the function of PHP. Uh, you register the sidebar, you name it, for example, I name it primary. And then this is how you position it, if it's a uh, uh, things, And then it goes there, where you can include, for example, if you want to include calendar on that particular part. So this, this code is actually goes where you want to put it. For example, you want to put it inside a contact as page. So you put this code inside the PHP of the contact, contact as page or the or, the, or, or this point, any particular page that you want. And then whatever that you put in there is going to be visible on the, the outreach. So now I think I have some time. Do I have some time? Okay, I'm going to talk about a bit of um, uh, gravity forms. What cool things that you could do. Uh, the, the first thing that, if you if you ever use Wufu, uh, that's, it is really useful in the sense that you can do much any anything that you dream of um, on form, and then gravity form it extend. Uh, I think it, it's a, it's like a it's like a having woofu inside the WordPress, where I think I'll show you right away the sample of it. So basically what we are doing right now is actually trying to get the user to submit some content for the website. Um, we have two types of submission, which is the submit photo and submit video. So this is building using, uh, using gravity forms and not, nothing more than that. What you have is here is actually use up, uh, what we use actually on the back end, it's we use the custom post type or you can use all, all, all uh, like normal posts. You have the post title over there. You have the category that goes there. You, you can predefine that initially. You can put up text, upload the photo and description. Once the user submit that, so you can you can allow the, the forms to be able to say where it, where's it, whether it is a draft, it's a pending for review, or it's, it's directly published. So that's the cool thing about uh, UFO. Gravity. Uh, gravity forms, I'm sorry. And then, uh, same goes to the uh, same goes to the video, where, for example, if you want to put a short code in, uh, the video code, then the good thing about it is that the user don't actually see the back end of the WordPress. Mm -hmm. So you can actually allow them for it. Then, I'll, I think I'll show you one sample of it. I think you've seen one. So like this morning, what the what, what they admin has did is actually they already posted up, posted up like one update. So you see that uh, that's today. So there's... So this, those are the things that they can do. So you, do, you don't have, you just have that one one dedicated page for them to upload uh, anything uh, for the website. You could, you, could, you could use it for directory, you could use it for anything. And beside that, it's not just about posting, it's, it could also log, use, for example, you have um, installation for multiple user, um, WordPress multiple user or network, and then you can allow, use the gravity forms to actually add the user. I think I'll show you. Hmm? Uh, register user. Use the form, register user. Mm -hmm. And if you use BuddyPress, where you have extended profile, you put in more information on the profile, you can actually direct mm -hmm. from that field to go to which field that you want to use in. And conditional um, forms where you have like, um, if this is yes, then show this part. If this is no, show this, show the other part. But it's not free. It's not free. It's not free. 
It's happening in body stuff. Then once you already submit, you can direct to some other parts of the page. Then, I last but not least, it's like, it's like the Canvas framework where no, it's normally I, I normally if it doesn't take so long to actually implement that uh, because it's easy. You have you've seen like some of the I've I've jumped into like few different uh, frameworks. I found out that Canvas framework actually um, suits me best because they have the way to manage it on the back end is very uh, cool. So this is on the, let's go to the page. So supposedly you want to change, uh, you want to add a new page. And then what you have is all these all this pages. And then if it's a default, not this one, I'm sorry. So you want to add a new page. What you have here is actually ability to change whether it's gonna be it's gonna be a, a full width, left hand the sidebar is going to be left hand side or right hand side, or you're gonna have two columns of sidebar. So it's actually it's per layout. So you don't have to it's gonna be the, this layout is actually default, so you can you don't have to code many different layouts. So it's all, all in one. So you can manage it from from uh, from the user actually. So which is really good. So I think I think I'm almost at the end of it. Yep. So if you have any question about WordPress, you can just tweet tweet to me, or you can just post it on WordCamp KL forum. I'll be <coughs> probably I'll be answering that question. Uh, I'm trying to buy WordPress. Don't mind. Oh. But the, but there's the, but there's a company owns it, and it's funny that it's, it's funny that they have a Drupal. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Yes. Two, three yes. Oh, yes. 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 And that's available, huh? Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's go. We've got Drupal over there. So, <laughs> <laughs> can talk. We can talk. We can So, it's going to expire on April, so if anyone, anyone has Don't a chance tell to... Don't tell me! <laughs> 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 that's okay. The Drupal guys are here! My, my intention is actually uh, getting, is this, this, getting this domain. <laughs> Um, create it as a community uh, WordPress community. If you're gonna have a word, word camp for next year, it's gonna be there. If you're gonna have any question about WordPress, it's gonna be there. So that's my intention. So if you know anyone who owns this uh, domain, can you WordPress online. WordPress online. Just who is it? Who is it? Yeah, find his address. Uh, these are my contact details. I'm based in Fluent Space. Uh, and yep, yeah, basically that's awesome. it. Thank, Thank you very much.